Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 26th of May, 2011. The Sun is beginning to show signs of life. No, not discovering McDonald's on Mars, but it, we've actually had a couple of sea flares. Let's take a quick look at the Noah Goes X-ray plot and see when and where they happened. They happened late yesterday, and you notice that they are very sharp, which implies rapid growth in one of the sunspot regions somewhere. So let's take a look at the Sun and see what's been happening to the sunspots. In the southwest, we have 1216, which sort of could be considered like Old Faithful as it's been a single large spot during most of its transit across the disk. In the northwest, we have region 1222, which was numbered just in time for it to start to fade away. The rapid growth has occurred in region 1223, which is in the southeast. And you can see we've got a, quite a healthy little group of spots there that are continuing to grow even as I speak. In the northeast, we have a new large spot, rather reminiscent of 1216, coming over the east limb. So let's take a look at the development of these regions using the SDO HMI data. First the white light movie shows the development of the region 1223 and the decay of region 1222. You can see the same thing in the magnetic movie where 1223 starts to in grow and intensify and 1222 gets weaker and more diffuse. In the transition region movie we continue to see lots of uh, activity in the filaments and prominences and towards the end you can see one of the sea flares in region 1223. You may remember yesterday that we formulated a hypothesis that a growing and dynamic filament or prominence will erupt. On that basis we predicted that this prominence would erupt and indeed it does. So does that make our hypothesis true? No, not necessarily. Now what we need to do is to look at a lot more examples over an extended period and see if all erupting prominences show this behavior and equally any prominences that show this behavior that don't lift off. Right at the end of the coronal movie we can see that sea flare in region 1223. Unfortunately the SOHO coronagraph data lags behind the data from the other missions by several hours. So the beautiful coronal mass ejection you see in the northeast here is actually from the prominence eruption that we talked about yesterday. The ACE data shows us that the solar wind is fairly benign at the moment with low densities, low velocities and low temperatures, which is consistent with the NOAA 15 result that the auroral zone is relatively quiet. KP index has been varying between 0 and 2, which is also considered quiet. So in summary then, the sunspot number is at 23. The X-ray background has fallen to A7 despite all the new activity. The radio sun has dropped to 80 solar flux units. Solar wind speed has dropped to 340 kilometers per second with a density of 0.2 protons per cubic centimeter and the KP index remains quiet. So I'm going to upgrade my 24 hour forecast to allow the possibility of C flares but the chances of getting M or X flares are very low. The sunspot number I think will drift higher. I think we've still got a very good chance of getting coronal mass ejections but the chance of getting a geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is very low. For the longer term forecast, we can see that there are more regions coming over the east limb, so activity should pick up as these appear. If you want more details about what's going on, please follow some of the links in the description box below. Go to my channel if you want to see earlier editions of The Sun Today, and also some of my videos on global warming, which you might find fun to watch. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.